We have an imbalance here. CDC is holding an emergency meeting over COVID vax concerns. Yes, that's right. Brought to you by the New York Post here. And we have the Vaccine Advisory Committee for Centers for Disease Control and Prevented, prevented Prevention the, the, will, per, will participate in an emergency meeting next week. Next week, emergency meeting. After hundreds of young Americans developed heart inflammation following their second dose of the Pfizer and Modernia, Modern, Moderna COVID-19 jabs. I like how they try to make it uh, uh, hip and not with jabs. You know, instead of saying they're vaccines. But aren't we told that these vaccines are good? Aren't we told by the far left that we all need to get them and there's no problem with the vaccine so why are they holding an emergency meeting as of May the CDC received 275 preliminary reports of my myocardius and per pericardius something like that I'm terrible with names pronunciations sorry I know I did that in fully vaccinated 16 to 24 year olds a number that's higher than what scientists expected to see. Here we have a little problem. We clearly have an imbalance there, said Dr. Tom uh, Shimabukotoro, something like that, deputy director of the CDC's Immunization Safety Office, said in a presentation to the FDA Advisory Committee. Ac across all age groups, a total of 488 Pfizer Sit recipient recip recip uh, man I'm just not being able to talk today and 301 mo modern near moderna reported the condition and the majority were male so if you're male in this age group you have a higher chance of getting this but we're told it's safe Here's one of the problems. It's not really FDA approved. They kind of did an emergency thing and pushed it on through, so it, it didn't get the uh, safety testings and all the other types that normal vaccinations do get. Not just under 80% of the cases were in men. The median age of patients who experienced the inflammation after a second vaccine dose was 24. Reports of the affliction, which more is marked by an inflammation of the heart muscle or the lining surrounding it have been largely mild however some have been more serious and have led to hospitalizations the agency said this is one no, I, I i am a big pro vaccine no, i i know the science but if you don't do it right you do have problems and this is a problem especially i, I see with the far left they're just like no get him it's it's science it's done, it's safe, get it. But that's just the thing, they haven't gone through all the necessary steps that other vaccines do go through. And that part is missing. Now, there have been a total of 474 reported cases of the heart inflammation in vaccinated Americans aged 30 and under. Most of the patients who were hospitalized made a full recovery from the symptoms. However, 41 people had ongo ongoing symptoms. As of May, 15 patients were still in the hospital, three of whom were in intensive care, and the CDC said. It's still not clear if the vaccine is causing inflammation, but the June 18th meeting will seek to address the condition and figure out how it should be handled moving forward. Dr. Tom conditioned cautioned against drawing conclusions because the re these reports are preliminary and this is a problem though the media is hyping it I'm not sure why kind of anti-vaccine thing right here that's a bit of it's a bit of an apples to oranges comparison because again these are preliminary reports not all of these will turn out to be true reports while people as old as 95 have reported the condition, 52.5% of cases have been found in patients between 12 and 24, a demographic that receives that represents just 8.8% of total vaccinations. So they have a higher 
chance of getting it over the older people, something's weird here. And they want to push for vaccinations between these age groups because of the new Delta uh, variant, which targets younger people, apparently. Also like this now. It's a bit of apples and apples to oranges comparison and all that type of stuff. But yet, for the longest, most COVID deaths were because of they had more than one. No, people didn't die just because they got COVID. They, a lot of people had two, three, four other health issues and they were more at risk. But you didn't hear that by these people. That was not stressed. Because again, it's about fear mongering. The data came came on the same day as Moderna requested emergency use authorization to give their vaccine to kids between ages of 12 and 17. Jab, that just oh, come on, writer, whoever's doing this, terrible. Now the disproportionate impact on young Americans has some doctors concerned. Before we start vaccinating millions of adolescents and children, it is important to find out what the consequences are. I say this about every vaccine. Make sure we know what the consequent, no, what, what, what the side effects are. And if there are side effects, let's try and figure out why they're there. Now, if you figure that out, you may figure it. Now, there are some people out there who don't do vaccines because they get, uh, they, they get reactions that are health-threatening. And if you know that, then you don't get them. He questioned if the condition will lead to, lead to scarring of the muscle or tissues. I think, that's, I, I think that's unlikely, but we don't know. That's the problem. They don't know. A lot of this stuff, they don't know, but, they're, but the media and the far left and our politicians are going full tilt. No, we need to do this and that and all this type of stuff. And... Really, th this is for a, a virus that actually has a very high rate of, uh, of not, not dying. Actually, I think if we were to focus more on the symptoms, you know, like you, 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 you feel a cold, you, know, you're, you're, you get a little cold, tickle your throat type thing, you go out and buy some coldies and it's going to lessen the uh, symptoms and the duration of it. Where is that for this? Where is that? That's what we need. That's what we should really be focusing on because that would eliminate so much of this problem. And Dr. Marin Gruber, director of the FDA's vaccine office, said self-risk consideration to determine emergency use authorizations of the, the jab will be needed to take the inflammation cases into consideration. Risk benefit consideration will be will likely be different, not only compared to those for adults, but they also may differ may be different for younger versus older pediatric groups. Different different vaccine shot for either one. Oh, you're older, okay, you get this one. You're younger, you get this one over here. Get in the line. Uh, the question is what could be the connection between the vaccine and these observations? Is the vaccine creating some kind of inflam inflammatory state that is then leading to this inflammation? And if so, what is the approach going to be? At this point, he said he believes the risk still benef the risk benefit still favors vaccination. Yeah, it's true, but we do need to figure out what's going on here, because I mean, th these are maybe fifteen, these hundred. Younger people may be scarred for the rest of their life. No, it, it may be something that, uh, something so simple. Uh, maybe just changing something, but they went full tilt, not doing anything, and should have checked it. But if, in fact, you find a link between the vaccine and these cases of heart inflammation in younger pages, patients, it could open questions like, do you formulate the vaccine at a lower dose, which is already being done for younger patients? So if you want to get to the bottom of this, you can try to come up with an approach that mitigates the risk, the, this potential risk. Dr. I, Dr. Ivan A. Maladano, 
the chair of the American Acad Academia of Pediat Pediatrics Committee of on Infection. Uh, man. These are like tongue twisters for me today. Of inf on infectious diseases, said Thursday, the new data has not led to any recommend recommended change to vaccine of adolescents 12 or older. When the first, when cases first started uh, surfacing in late May, the AAP said it's important for doctors to recognize the symptoms so they can be quickly addressed. We look forward to seeing more data about these cases so we can understand if they are related to the vaccine or if they're coincidental. True. Meanwhile, it's important for pediatricians and other clini clinicians to report any health concerns that arise after vaccinations to VAERS, the Vaccine Ad Adverse Event Reporting System, so that we can systemat systemat systematically track and analyze them and determine if they are a signal for real concern. We remain confident that the benefits of vaccines so far exceed the very small, rare risks. The risks of vaccination are also smaller than the risks of COVID infection itself, including its potentially fatal consequences and the potential long-term health effects that are still revealing themselves, including mitocarditis. The recommendation for vaccination specifically includes people with cardiovascular risk factors, such as high blood pressure, obesity, and type 2 diabetes those with heart disease and heart attack and stroke survivors because they are at much greater risk of an adverse outcome from the COVID-19 virus than they are from the vaccine. The AHA is yet to release any updated comments on guidance following the new data. What I do find funny is no, they did up here, no. They're having an emergency meeting for something that happened back in May 34. First, they've taken several weeks to get into this. So, go figure if it's really an emergency or if they're just trying to I'd head off something. If so, they. Oh, it's June 11th, right here, that this was done. A good 11 days, two weeks. And there's still the emergency meeting still for a couple more days and it's just that the, our politicians keep sending these mixed messages on things you know, this there, this isn't really an emergency meeting this is uh, we'll, we'll, we'll schedule it next week and get around to it type thing but we'll call it emergency so that people don't pant so that people panic and we have fear mongering and all this other type of stuff going on uh, uh, take everybody and slap them but that's just me let me know what you think and like no leave a comment like dislike your thoughts on this you know, what do you think about the vaccine is it really an emergency meeting should we be caught more concerned about stuff like this just let me know and uh, I'll see you next video